Buckle up for a ride back to the 20th century school days, a time when soda fountains were the coolest hangout spots and rock and roll was just finding its groove. Let's take a leisurely walk down memory lane, revisiting those classroom staples that shaped the educational experiences of yesteryear. So, dust off your yearbooks, slick back that hair, and let's jitterbug through the corridors of history, back to the classrooms that saw it all. Let's kick off with the Trapper Keeper, the all-star MVP of binders back in the 70s and 80s. This wasn't just any binder, it was like the Cadillac of organization, its Velcro flap snapping shut with the certainty of a game show buzzer. Inside, it was a symphony of folders and pockets, masterfully keeping homework and doodles in check. It wasn't just practical, it was a fashion statement, adorned with designs as loud as a disco ball. But, as we stepped into the digital age with tablets and laptops, these vibrant icons of school life took a well-deserved retirement, becoming nostalgic emblems of a time when style met function in the classroom. Next up, the library checkout card, the backstage pass of the library world. Tucked in the back of each book, these cards were logbook of who had traveled through its pages before you. Each date stamp was a testament to the book's adventures through time and hands. As indispensable as a librarian's glasses, they guided eager readers and diligent students through the labyrinth of towering bookshelves. Yet, as the digital age ushered in a new era, these paper chronicles gracefully bowed out. Their once crucial role in tracking borrowed literature has been replaced by efficiency of online catalogs, turning a page in library history. Now cast your mind to the chalkboard the trusty steed of classroom teaching from the Roaring Twenties to the Groovy Sixties. On its surface, teachers spun tales of math mysteries and epic historical sagas. The screech of the chalk, often as jarring as nails on a blackboard, yet as familiar as the sound of a vinyl record starting, was a daily soundtrack in schools. Fast forward to the present, and these venerable boards of knowledge have gracefully retired. Now replaced by the sleek finesse of whiteboards and the high-tech allure of digital screens, leaving behind a cloud of chalk dust memories. Recall the metal lunchboxes of yesteryear? Far more than mere containers, they were the cafeteria's runway, flaunting themes from astronauts to the fonts, as iconic as Elvis's blue suede shoes. A quintessential fashion statement in the mid-century schoolyard. Each lunchbox, with vivid illustrations of superheroes, space adventures, and cartoon favorites, sparked conversations and friendships as much as it held sandwiches and apple slices. Yet, as the tides turned towards more practical, softer, and insulated lunch bags, these metallic treasures gradually retreated from daily use. Today, they stand as nostalgic collectibles, evoking memories of a time when lunchtime was as much about style as sustenance. Then there's the wall-mounted pencil sharpener, an unsung hero of the classroom. Mounted proudly next to the door or the chalkboard, it was a beacon for those in need of the perfect point. The act of sharpening a pencil was more than a necessity. It was a brief escape, a moment to daydream, accompanied by that unmistakable grinding symphony. For many, it was a moment to ponder over a tough math problem or an upcoming baseball game. But with the dawn of mechanical pencils and digital writing tools, these classroom staples are now a rare sight, their once familiar tune fading into the background of school day memories. Let's not forget the paper bag book covers, a crafty innovation born of necessity and thrift. Fashioned from humble brown paper bags, these DIY covers were a blend of practicality and creativity. A staple from the bustling 50s through to the grungy 90s, they shielded textbooks with the dedication of a loyal knight while also serving as a blank canvas for artistic doodles, band names, and youthful dreams. In today's digital learning environment, though, these handmade protectors have stepped aside, now a sweet reminiscence of days when recycling wasn't just environmentally savvy, but also a creative endeavor, adding a personal touch to the otherwise mundane. Unforgettable in its utility and simplicity, the bookstrap was the go-to textbook carrier before the groovy 70s hit their stride. More than just a functional tool, it stood as a proud symbol of studiousness as students balanced towers of books against their hip. Crafted from sturdy leather or durable fabric, this humble strap encapsulated the essence of an era when education was quite literally a physical undertaking, a weight carried with pride and purpose. 
With the advent of backpacks offering more comfort and space, these straps gradually vanished from the school scene, leaving behind fond memories of a more tactile and involved educational experience, a time when lugging your learning was part of the daily routine. Movie projectors in classrooms were akin to opening a magic portal to far-off lands and times. Beginning their educational journey in the 60s, they transformed any lesson into a cinematic event, the flickering light and whirring sound as exciting as the opening credits of a movie. The excitement for a film day in class was comparable to the eagerness of awaiting Santa Claus, providing a delightful break from the routine of textbooks and chalkboards. As the years rolled by, however, with the advent of sleek digital projectors and the boundless world of online media, these pioneers of visual learning took a step back. Once classroom heroes, these projectors now occupy a tender place in the lore of education, serving as the foundations for today's high-tech learning modalities. Encyclopedias, the once mighty giants of information, stood tall in every library and household. In the days before the World Wide Web, these weighty books were the first stop on any research quest, an academic adventure wrapped in hardcovers. Each page turned in these books was a step in a journey of discovery, uncovering precious bits of information. Emerging in the early 20th century, they served as guiding lights in the world of education and exploration. But the digital wave brought a shift, leading these expansive libraries of knowledge to recede, with their wealth of information now easily accessible with a simple click in the online world. Foreign language copies were the Rosetta Stones of their time. In an era where the world was becoming more interconnected, these books were invaluable for anyone looking to dive into new languages and cultures. They were like passports, each page a new destination, unlocking the mysteries of distant lands and peoples. Flourishing in popularity during the Cold War era, when global awareness was paramount, they provided a hands-on approach to language learning. As digital advancements took the stage in the 21st century, these printed guides have taken a step back, their role in language education now played by interactive, real-time technologies, offering a new, dynamic way to learn and connect. The Card Catalog, a reliable guide in libraries, led students and scholars on a voyage through oceans of information. These durable wooden cabinets, packed with neatly typed cards, form the cornerstone of the library's filing system. Established in libraries since the late 19th century, they were as integral to the library ambiance as the books. They offered a hands-on, immersive experience cherished by researchers and bibliophiles alike. Yet, as the digital era emerged and digital search platforms and databases rose to prominence, these catalogs concluded their long-standing service, yielding to the immediacy of online searches and electronic databases. Gradebook report cards were the academic world's answer to the Oscars, applauding student successes and spotlighting areas for further development. These report cards were more than just paper. They were key milestones, charting progress in everything from math's intricacies to the marvels of science and literature. In students' hands, they provided a moment to reflect and recognize efforts, highlighting both accomplishments and areas for growth, capturing the essence of their annual academic journey. With our digital advancements, they've seamlessly moved to online platforms, offering swift, sustainable insights into educational progress. The spinning globe, a staple in classrooms, was as integral to education as the classic yellow pencil. This tool brought a hands-on exploration of Earth, transforming geography lessons into tangible adventures. Emerging in classrooms in the early 1900s, these globes turned distant, exotic lands into reachable realities, stirring the imagination and fueling a sense of global curiosity in young minds. They were the Google Earth of their day, providing a physical, interactive experience that no textbook could match. With each spin, students embarked on an impromptu journey around the world, from the Sahara Desert's heat to the chill of the Arctic. Interactive digital maps and virtual globes have now eclipsed traditional globes, providing a dynamic, real-time window to the world in today's classrooms. Last but not least, the ring bell, the timekeeper of school days. Its clear, commanding ring resonated through the halls, a familiar soundtrack to every student's journey. Found in schools big and small, this bell was the universal herald of beginnings and endings, orchestrating the daily rhythm like a maestro. Its toll marked the ebb and flow of activities, from the focused silence of exams to the boisterous energy of recess. Gone are the days of manual school bells, now replaced by electronic and automated systems, maintaining the familiar rhythm of school life in a modern context. 
But there we have it, friends. A nostalgic glance back at the educational tapestry of the 20th century. Enjoyed this trip through school history? Check out our next video for more insights. Remember to like and subscribe for more.